Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. <laughs> Sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much? I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. You know how to sword fight? Yeah. Stick you with the sharp end, right? Oh, that should be fun. Come on, Nate. Quit prolonging the inevitable. My arm's getting tired. Now we're getting tired. Stay in Burma, the ship, you'd be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Everything handed to me on a goddamn silver platter. I earned this. All of it. You want the treasure, Rafe? It's all yours. <laughs> Get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. It's no use. Try again. It's no use. Come on. Take this. Damn it. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Sammy, hey, sure. we did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. There's gonna be another way. Nathan, you gotta go. There's gonna be some. You gotta go! This tough. There is no other way. Come on, Nathan, I gotta know you made it out all right. Yeah. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up! That's it. That's it! The hell you don't! You stress me! God damn it! Let's get your head down! Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny, it makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. But the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of 
emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you've come far. We sure have a little brother. Come here. Old school. So good. I really should clean this up. Eh, later. Oh. 
Mom? Dad? Anyone? Yoo-hoo! Oh, that looks beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Sully. Wow, Sam looks so young. I think they abandoned us. Here we go. Sam and Sully are coming to visit. We should totally throw a party in here. They wouldn't even know. Let's see what you got. Mom has weird taste in music, but I kind of like this one. So cool. I need to ask mom to borrow this one again. Just this one. <laughs> All right. But this is the last one for today. Okay? goes. Ah, <sighs> perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. Not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Got the search area narrowed down quite a bit. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I was hanging out with Soli for this one. <laughs> I remember that one. Oh, this was definitely my favorite dig. <laughs> Look at you all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. You figured it out. Whoa. Good job cleaning this up. Goofy. Hmm. He left his keys. He left his keys. There's no way. There's just no way. a balloon, but from where? Pirate coin. That kind of looks like Avery's sigil. Wait, is it Avery's sigil? Kind of cool. I don't know, some kind of resin or something? Weird. Uh, gun holster, Dad. Hello. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? No way. Is that Dad? Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Hmm. What's this? What the hell?
Oh shit. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's get... up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. Keys. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully with a bunch of Spanish looking treasure and a shotgun. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a, a silver skull of some kind. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. <sighs> yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of this. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ha, <laughs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. Yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's much right. it, yeah. Bullshit. A language. language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that later. 